Whoa, that's like way too fast. Like seriously. What? If you're listening to YouTube videos in French and you're thinking, wow, this is so fast. I can't even wrap my mind around what is being said. I don't understand anything. Well, Rochelle to the rescue. I'm here to help you. Salut, my name is Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Beltier Academy. say hey easy for you you're French so and you speak fast so easy for you to do both but you know what Italian is a language that I've learned and it's not only hard for me to sometimes figure out what's being said but if they're talking fast I feel lost in the sauce so I want to give you a couple pointers so that you can slow down any video that you're hearing on YouTube, whether it's the French conversations that I provide you with on Fridays showing you everyday life in France interviews, whatever it is, I want to show you how you can immediately slow down the conversation and I have another huge tip for you visual learners. Abonnez-vous. If you're not subscribed yet, why aren't you? Make sure you're subscribed so that you can learn the French that's actually used in the most simple way possible and in a very fun but logical way. So very simple, I'm showing you a tutorial so you have this French YouTube video that you're watching. Maybe you're not even planning on watching it, you're just planning on listening to it. Well, look at this stunning button. See this little wheel thing? If you click on it, as you can see, there's a little option that says speed. It may be in a different language depending on what your YouTube settings are in. For instance, in mine it says vitesse. Vitesse simply means speed. You may wish to change your settings of YouTube in French to further your learning of the French language. Anyway, so you have this option on the speed. Well, you got it, right? You can speed it up. No, 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 definitely not that. Or you can slow it down. By clicking on that option, you can make the conversation slower and possibly progressively work up the normal speed. What often happens when you're going into a traditional classroom to learn French is the French teacher is talking so slowly. Je m'appelle Rachel. Or they might teach you Je ne sais pas. But then you're actually in France or another French speaking country in the very vast French speaking world. Or you're watching a movie in French or listening to video or podcast. And instead of saying je ne sais pas, they're saying je sais pas. And you've never been able to recognize what that means. So what I recommend is to work up your way to be able to understand fast French, but you can first of all start just slowing down the settings, listening it to at your pace, and little by little you can improve, you know, the speed of the video you're watching. So that's one thing that is going to be so useful. If you've already gotten something useful out of this video right now, go ahead and give me a thumbs up to support the channel. All right, so there is a second thing that may help you if you're watching a YouTube video in French. This is especially useful for visual learners. I help my students identify their learning style. You can check out a little video to, that explains a little bit more about it and in different educational conferences that I hold. However, if you're a visual learner and you're thinking, wow, I guess it's good that I can slow down the speed of the video, but I really would like to be able to read it. Well, you can add those subtitles pretty much automatically on our YouTube videos. So this is how you do it. As you can see from this little button, what you want to do is you want to click on subtitles or sous-titres. Again, it's going to vary based on what region in the world you live in. And then you can select, it may give you the alternative to be able to choose whether it's in English or French or possibly another language, or it might just generate it for you depending on the actual video. The thing that you may want to look at in your YouTube settings are what options you've allowed the subtitles to be in. So possibly allow several. 
And it's just as useful being able to look at the subtitles in your native language just as looking at them in French. Even if there may be some discrepancies in what's being said versus what you're seeing on the screen, if the subtitles are in French, it still is going to help you. So if you're a visual learner, you might want to do that. Those were the two keys today to help you when you're watching my videos or other videos in French, whether it's conversations, interviews, everyday life, in France and other French speaking countries around the world. This should be a tremendous help. What other help may you want to get in furthering your learning of the French language? Comment below so that I can create that video specifically for you. A bientôt tout le monde.